Hello, um, today we are going to talk about fractions, um, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing them. Um, so just kind of mixing them all together. So that's what you should be able to accomplish by the end of the video. Uh, things we need to remember. Um, when we are talking about adding and subtracting, okay, the one thing that's super important that you need to remember is you have to have a common denominator. Okay, it is needed. So if you don't have it, you have to find it. Okay, but you have to have a common denominator before you can add or subtract. Um, multiplying. Mm -hmm. When you're multiplying fractions, you just multiply across. Oops, I'm going to spell that wrong. Let's try that again. Uh, okay, and that's your numerator and denominator. Both instances, you just multiply across. Um, when you're dividing, you have to keep the first fraction the same then multiply ooh I cannot spell let's oops. by the reciprocal of the second fraction. Okay, um, so those things you need to keep in mind as we are doing this mixed review. Alright, I um, have some practice problems for us to do. Um, first one, let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay, here's the first problem that we are going to solve. Um, and we have Three fourths divided by eight ninths. So if you remember, we're going to keep that first fraction the same, and then multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction, which means we have to flip flop it. Okay, and now we're going to multiply across. So three times nine is twenty seven, and four times eight is thirty two. And then you ask yourself if you can simplify. And in this case, you cannot, so that is your answer. All right, next one. We have 11 twelfths minus 7 ninths. Um, we're adding and subtracting, just subtracting specifically, which means we need a common denominator um, because the 12 and the 9 are not common denominators. So you have to say, okay, what could it be? Um, that is common in these two instances. Think of your multiples, okay? Um, and the first one that you will come across is 36. Okay, 12 times what is 36? 12 times 3. So then 9 times 3, or sorry, 11 times 3 is 33. Subtracting. And then we have the 9 times what is 36? 9 times 4. So then we take 7 and multiply it by 4. And 7 times 4 is 28. And now we just subtract like we would normal numbers. So our answer then, 33 minus 28 is 5. 36, and then you ask yourself if you can reduce it. You cannot in this case, and so we are done with that problem. And the last one we have for examples, if I can get this one to get bigger. There we go. It's one half times, remember when we have that um, parentheses and there's nothing written in between, that's really multiplication. So negative one half times three eighths. Um, so we're just going to multiply across. So negative 1 times 3 is negative 3 over 2 times 8 is 16. 
So we have negative 3 sixteenths, and then we ask ourselves if we can reduce it. We can't, so we are done with this problem. Okay, it's your turn to do the practice. Um, you have three problems here. Let's see if I can get these a little bigger. There we go. Um, we have one and three fifths plus two and seven eighths. We have four and one seventh minus three and ten twenty firsts. And the last one we have is eleven twelfths divided by negative seven eighths. Um, so make sure you show all of your work on these three problems and then pause the video right now, check in when you're done. Alright, answers to these questions. Hopefully you get them all right. Um, first one is an answer of 4 and 19 fortieths. Again, you always, always, always reduce and simplify. Uh, and the second one is an answer of 2 thirds. And the last one is negative 1 and 1 21st reduced. Um, if you did not get these answers, make sure you're figuring out why. Okay, part two of this video is following order of operations. So now if you look at these three examples that I have for you, um, there's not just two fractions and one operation. Now we have three fractions and two operations. Um, and so whenever that happens, that means we have to follow order of operations. Um, so that's how I'm going to walk you through how to do that right now. So let's get started on the first one. This one here, we have 4 and 3 fourths minus 1 and 1 twelfth minus 2 and 5 sixths. So we have to find a common denominator first, and I know that because um, this is all subtracting. And I need to turn them into improper fractions. So that's what I'm going to do four first. So 4 times 4 is 16. 16 plus 3 is 19. So I have 19 fourths minus 12, 13 twelfths minus be 12 plus 5 is 17 sixths. So here's the new written problem. We need to find a common denominator, um, and lucky for us, I know that the common denominator is 12 for all of these, um, because 12 is a multiple of 4 and 6. So here we go. Um, 4 times what is 12? Well, times 3. So 19 times 3, well, 9 times 3 is 27, 3 times 1 is 3, 4, 5. So 57, um, this one's going to stay the same, and then this one, 6 times what is 12 times 2, so 17 times 2 would be 34. Now I can subtract the numerators just like I normally would. So I'm going to take 57, now remember order of operations, we have to go left to right. So I'm going to take 57 minus 13 right away, and when I do that, I get an answer of 44. So I can do this, so it will be 44 twelfths minus 34 twelfths will give me an answer of 10 twelfths, which can be reduced if we divide by 2 we will get 5 sixths as our final answer. So a lot of work for that one problem, but we did it. Um, and it's really important that you show all of your work because there's so much work to, that we're doing. Um, it, it'll help you prevent mistakes. Okay, here's the next one. So here we have um, some multiplying and adding. Um, so order of operations. We have to do multiplying and dividing before we do adding and subtracting, so that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to take the 3 fourths times the negative 1 half. And when I do that, I'm just multiplying across. So I'm going to get um, negative 3 eighths, okay, because 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, and 4 times 2 is 8. And then I'm going to write, just copy the rest of it, which is this part. 
So I now have negative 2 thirds plus negative 3 eighths. Um, now, with adding and subtracting, we have to have a common denominator, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I know that 24 is a common denominator for both of these. 3 times what is 24? Well, 8 is. Negative 2 times 8 is negative 16 plus. And then 8 times what is 24? Well, that's times 3. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. Then I'm going to add the numerators together. And negative 16 plus negative 9 is... Let me write it over here. Uh, 24 is the denominator, stays the same. Negative 16 plus negative 9 is negative 25. And then we have to turn that into um, a proper fraction or a mixed number. So it's going to be negative 1 and 1 24th for our final answer to that problem. Again, notice how much work I'm showing. That's really important to do. Okay, last example. Here we have subtracting and multiplying. So we need to first um, do multiplying and dividing, left to right. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, one third times negative one fourth. Again, I multiply across. So I'm going to get negative one over twelve. And then I'm going to add in what I didn't use, which was all of this. So 1 half minus the negative 1 twelfth. And then we have to find a common denominator, being we're subtracting. And the common denominator is 12. So this one's going to stay the same. And then 2 times 6 is 12, so 6 twelfths. Now I'm going to... Do the numerators. 6 minus negative 1. You should know that we add the opposite there. Two negative signs right next to each other makes a big positive. So 6 plus 1 is 7 twelfths. The denominator doesn't change. And boom, we're done. Our answer is 7 twelfths. All right, what you see is three practice problems for you. Um, again, they're all three fractions with two operations. Um, go ahead and solve them and then check back in in the video when you're done. Um, make sure that you're showing all, and I mean all, of your work. Good luck. All right. Um, I'm going to walk you through all the answers to these problems instead of just telling you the answers just because there's so much going on. Um, so for number one, we have multiplying and we have parentheses and inside the parentheses we have adding. Um, order of operations. You have to do parentheses first. So you have to do one fourth plus five twelfths first. And we have to find a common denominator. In this case, 12 does work. Um, so this one is going to become 3 twelfths. And 3 twelfths plus 5 twelfths is 8 twelfths. Okay. And then we're going to take what we didn't use. So now we have 5, 6 times that 8 twelfths and when we multiply we multiply across 5 times 8 is 40 6 times 12 is 72 um, and then we can reduce from there if we divide by 2 in both instances um, we will get let's see 40 divided by 2 is 20 and then 72 divided by 2 is 36 well what do you know you can divide it again um, and this time we can divide by 4 and 20 divided by 4 is 5 
and 36 divided by 4 is 9, so our answer to that problem is 5 ninths. Again, I know this is a lot of work for one problem, but it actually is very important um, to do all of the work needed. I'm just going to make this a little smaller so I have more room to work with. Okay, um, now we have 2 thirds minus 1 third divided by 3 fourths. Order of operations, you have to do multiplying and dividing before adding and subtracting, so we're going to do this one first. Um, so we have 1 third times, we multiply by the reciprocal, so 4 thirds, um, which is 4 ninths. And then I'm going to take that and um, take my 2 thirds and the minus that I didn't use, and then drop in that 4 ninths. So 2 minus 4 ninths, well we have to have um, common denominators. So, we'll change this one to ninths, um, and 3 times 3 is 9, so 2 times 3 is 6. And so we're going to take the 6 minus 4, which is 2 ninths, and that's our final answer because we can't simplify that down any further. And the last problem... We have 3 fourths plus 5 six times 3 fifths. Order of operations, we have to do multiplying and dividing first. 5 times 3 is 15. 6 times 5 is 30. Okay, and then we are going to take that 3 fourths plus that 15 thirtieths and find a common denominator. Now, there is a, a faster method. If you take a look at this 15 thirtieths, you can actually simplify that down to one half because 15 goes into 30 twice. So I'm just going to write um, equals 15 thirtieths, which equals one half. So I'm just going to simplify that right away um, to make my math easier. So now I have one, or sorry, I have three fourths plus one half. And then I need to find a common denominator. In this case, it's four. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 fourths, so 3 plus 2 is 5 fourths, and then simplify that, it would be 1 and 1 fourth is my final answer. So if you didn't get those, make sure you're fixing um, your work so that it matches with mine, um, and if you have any questions, be sure to ask them in class, um, and you can always write them down on your notes so that you don't forget. Thanks for watching.